Alright, so we're going to be doing a playthrough of a game called Once Once Alive. I believe that's what it's called. And uh, it's a story driven game develop. Uh, it's just a sole game developer. Um, so it's a little bit slower than other games in process, but we're going to check it out and see what the game's all about. Oh, okay. So he says it right there. I'm the solo developer behind Once Alive. This is my fir very first project. A journey has taken three years to complete. To complete? So it's already a done game? I thought that this was still in production. When I started, I knew nothing about game development, but my passion for telling a story. I changed the path to life. If this game is in your hands now. It means dreams coming true. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoy we the We are experience. living in a world of indistinctness. Sixteen years ago, an incident happened and it changed the world's fate. The most contagious and incurable virus put the world in a brink of destruction. The chaos took only weeks. At first, most of the people started panicking. They looted all of the stores and they died trying to leave the cities. Science couldn't catch up with this pandemic destruction. Comms went down in a short period of time. Even if some survived, they were unaware of the world's fate. The virus didn't only take people's lives, but also made the animals more aggressive. It's like rabies, but a more enhanced version of it. This is the way I explain all of this. I am not a scientist after all. Hereby, the world became crueler. I didn't believe there were any survivors out there for a long time. After all these unanswered distress calls that I made, those messages that I dropped in these cities, I thought my brother and I were the only survivors in the whole world. I couldn't be more wrong. That's quite the blanket. Join those who survived. Okay. Well, I'm not sure what engine it's using or anything, but it's. Pretty nice graphics. I wish car still worked. This five day journey would have taken only a few hours. I must be close.
So let's hope this place actually exists. I don't doesn't seem like I got any weapons or anything like that. At least not yet. <laughs> But because I have a center screen dot, I'm assuming that eventually we'll have some kind of weapon. Especially if they're talking about like rabid animals and stuff like that. Rabid people? He, didn't ex he just said the virus. It was like rabid things. Cigarettes that haven't blown away. Somebody's here. Hello. Oh, God. <laughs> It's one of those games. <laughs> it requires fast reaction, I guess, and uh, we have a lot of learning to do. <laughs> I didn't notice that giant E until it was too late. I was trying to figure out what my foot was looking at. Let's see, does the physics work? Can I can I pick this up and make this thing? No. Okay. I have to trip it myself. Oh God. God, I've almost got myself killed. Can't get up there. No jumping or climbing. There's clearly something up there. How about this? No? Cooler? A cooler. Blood dried out, but still somewhat there. That's an old incident, but not that old. I gotta be careful. Hmm. The blood stains in the tent, tent must belong to an animal. Something that can I still don't have faith that there are any living human beings on Earth. Now, when you can talk in your own head and have multiple conversations going on at the same time, you need to go get checked out. <laughs> What am I doing here? If I can't click, can I go beyond this? Uh, kind of. That was the tree in the beginning. I can't click and open the door. You'd think that'd be like a, a natural thing. Like, oh, they're probably going to want to click and open the door. Can't go around this way either. Oh, there's a ladder right there. Okay. This was actually written by someone. I'm a true detective. I'm a true detective. Is there any one worth saving? Can I just fall off? Yeah. Okay, so that's... Okay, how about the pot here in the middle? Anything? 
Not a whole lot to interact with. This is why I thought it... I'm a little confused, because I, I thought this game was still in development. But then the opening of it said that he completed it. So I'm not sure if that's... I'm just a misunderstanding what they're saying. If this... Am I, like, locked in here? Okay, so... Okay, I guess this is the only thing that's out here. I couldn't interact with anything else. I guess we'll go down this way. But yeah, this is like uh, a, a little confusing. The, the way he worded the beginning made it sound like he's finished the game. But that didn't look like a, a finished game. I remember the times when trains stopped running. Don't want to give him too hard of a time, though. I mean, if he developed this all himself, it might take a while to patch things if he has completed it. Okay, I guess we're not going that way. Finally, there is something ahead. I am horrible at discovering the obvious. There's obviously a trail here. Remember, Jim, if you see any animal coming for you, do not freeze like the last time you did. God, I've almost got myself killed. Don't think, just run. That's as fast as I can run. What are you talking about? <laughs> believe there are survivors like us and they're just out there it really is true so when do we leave tonight yes tonight I should start packing let's just first think about it this place is far from here I believe it takes five or six days on foot but it doesn't matter our dreams came true look this is a one-way trip we can't carry enough supplies for return if this place doesn't exist... We can find some supplies on the road. We can't leave it to chance. You sound like you already gave up on this. I'm just being realistic. We tried so hard to find if there are any survivors left. No way you're giving up on this before you even start. Look around. We have all we need here to survive. We also tried so hard to build all this up. We can't give up on everything for the sake of a possibility. I don't even want to talk about those monsters out there. I would rather die on this. Daniel, you can't think straight. Dad could be there. How can you call him Dad after all what he has done? Drop with the bullshit. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Also, he must have died somehow already. Why do you think we've survived? Oh God, this again. The only reasonable explanation is we are alive because we are immune. If that's true, Dad also may be immune and survived like us. In any case, this journey is a risk we can't afford for anyone. And look, we are not sure if this place exists. Maybe it's all a trap. Are you giving up hope on people so quickly? People have let us down before with their selfishness and ignorance. So why not again? People saw what could happen to them when they acted selfishly and stupidly. But if Dad is out there, I won't let him down no matter what. 
He died like all the other people, and he got what he deserved. Don't talk about him like that. Have you ever thought about how you would have acted if it was Mother instead of him? Stop involving Mother in such matters for nonsense comparison. You are crossing the line. You already made your mind. Why am I even wasting my breath? made a mistake by letting you go alone. Now I'll find you, little brother. Oh, that was just a memory? Still feels unreal this place exists. Oh no, crows. Run! Need somewhere to hide. Ah. With the help of the virus, crows have become the worst. Nearly impossible to shoot them. The best option is to run. Noted. <laughs> we were rejected just because we're not young. Now we have to spend the night here and go all the way back. Thank you for writing that down. <laughs> That's why I was being cautious. I wish you would understand, Daniel. Oh, I am not sure I understand what their age had to do with it. anything else and that's what this is already lacking is that it's kind of linear go here go here but there's no interactables outside of the story so it kind of <clears throat> is taking away from some of the uh, the feel for the story Only I had something to get me across. Like a jump? <laughs> That's all you need is a jump. And can't go over there. Okay. I gotta go all the way across. Hey, anyone? Uh, I need to find another way in. Okay, that's as far as I can go. Join those who survive. Okay, I don't have like an inventory of items or anything. Can't jump. Ah, 
I'm the lamest survivor ever. This seems like the most logical place to go. It definitely looks like a compound or something. There's nobody here. Kind of weird how there's this house right on the outside of it. I mean, just thinking of, of it from their perspective. Especially if they're going to be rejecting people to come in. You know, you wouldn't want an uprising to have a place right outside. Oh, is this... That's nothing. Okay. How about I squeeze through here? Through here? You here? Nope. There's nothing on the thing there. Don't want to go back by the birds. Postville. Maybe we'll follow, see if there's a trail over here. I'm bad at finding trails. Or is this a thing right out the outside, or is that just a rock? That's just a rock. Oh, no, those are dead birds. All right, dead birds. All right, we will follow the trail and see where that goes. All right. Let's see if there's something in the options for a jump button that I just didn't see. So, walk, open bag, run, focus. Okay. Correct. Rotate. Throw objects. Oh, okay. So I can zoom in a little. That's. Okay, so there is no jump button to this. Can I get back in? I came out this way. Yes, and there's nothing that I need from that house. Maybe if I walk straight up, like maybe there's a triggering mechanism for that thing to open. And I just didn't hit it. I am baffled. I have no idea what to do. Can't jump. I don't have any items. I didn't see anything to pick up. Wow, rock. Nope. I'm outside of that house, so there's nothing else that I can get from the house.
Don't let me interact there. Okay, it's not. It's saying I can left click, but it's not letting me left click. Ah, <laughs> okay. Simple jump would have been able to do, but <laughs> ah, I need another one. We're figuring it out. We are figuring it out. Ugh. Oh, don't, don't! I want to hear you groaning. That's like real life. Like, you're not even, like, 50 yet. And you're like, ugh, that's a big of a board. Oh, no. <laughs> Mess that up. Now, what would have happened if I would have messed that up and the board dropped down? Would I get more boards? The last entry is from yesterday. Everything's calm today. More than usual. Only thing notice is the... Norse? Norse of the sick crows? Deep in the forest, they have grown in number these days. Probably find enough carcasses in the forest since they don't haunt the village off. Seems like the virus really makes animals go crazy. Oh, huh, good. You're just taking note of that, huh? Just lose their minds. I saw a little rabbit attacking a wild boar today. Rabbit's attack lasted a second. Easy dinner for the bear. Thanks it for warning me about the crows now. Where is everyone? No, that's... I've seen a rabbit attack... The entire Knights of the Round Table before, so it's not like, you know, that's outside the realm of possibility for a detective bear. Now that I'm sure somebody was around recently, if I run into someone, what am I going to say? Hello, you're the first human I've seen after 16 years. And sorry for breaking into your village. I was just searching for my brother. <laughs> they better not shoot me at first sight. I need a key. I remember watching horses running in the countryside as a child. Back then, animals were so hard to process. We used them however we liked and exploited them to no end. Man, we never deserved them. What? <laughs> we exploited? <laughs> Little uh, philosophical there on a wrong note. <laughs> a burning grill. What were they cooking here? Plants. Nah, this must be a joke. Is anybody home? Say yes. I got bread.
Strange. When hearings on Fridays, don't... See, they got like a printing press here still. Able to make these kinds of nice notes. Don't talk about the doctor's age. That's true. It looks like they have everything they need, but no electricity. Oh, that's a lot of reading. It's our first day in the village. We're freshest newcomers so far. We never thought we'd see another human being after all these years. Turns out there's a small community living living here. Extremely excited to meet the townsfolk for the first time. Yay! Although we signed a strange contract to benefit from what they offer in exchange for making a great sacrifice when time comes. We do what needs to be done. I'm guessing um, this is like the Walking Dead where they came across the people that were eating people. can't remember when the last time we ate a meal. It was 16 years ago. Wait a minute. I can't remember the last time we ate a meal. Was it 16 years ago? It was such a blessing to finally taste it again. Now that we can eat meat again. Yeah, where are they getting all the meat from? They... they I feel like people would be questioning that. Don't remember waking up so alive in years. No more sleeping with one eye open. These crazy animals beyond the wall. Other us no more. I saw Alice sleeping like a dog last night. My dear Alice has finally found peace. She always saw it. Hey, we were given ordinary jobs, the kind of work anyone can do. I can tell that we missed those days when we used to work safely. Without having to run or hide, we've been dreaming about the kinds of work so long. But this means returning to our working order before the pandemic. We have to get used to... Oh, pandemic. Was this the virus? Was this... <laughs> no, Dr. Rona. I could not find the opportunity to write since the last three days. It's been extremely exhausting. Seems like working here is not going to be easy. You just said it was easy a second ago. Uh, still better than fighting to survive out there. Looks like we're going to have to earn what they offer. They can eat meat? How did they find an animal that was not infected? I don't know. No I... way this is possible. Or right. are they eating infected meat? Nothing makes sense. I guess we just won't question the obvious. Since we're so trusting of people now. Really? Nothing? Nothing in this room? Can't find anything useful? What if I use that cord? To strangle people with. There's like nothing interactable in here. I feel like should be. Okay. Nothing in here. Open up in the cupboards. Can I go in here yet? That's locked. We'll go to the next house. They are living in a dream, a community where they help each other and live in harmony. The place looks peaceful as well. Can't remember what sitting with a group of friends by the fire and having a laugh felt like without a worry in the world. Big note. Look at the calendar, Brandon. There is only one month left until our salvation day. It's such a joy. We are so close. Tonight, I'll go to sleep knowing that my body will finally reunite with the Earth to become useful once again. 
I am at peace. Father Monroe tells me that you're making a great sacrifice bringing your Salvation Day forward by two years in order to not leave me alone. He says that God will reward us for such a great sacrifice. I can feel it, my dear. The second spring awaits us. Ah, uh, a lot of emotion there that she say with her mouth. And what was that? Like, why, why could I all of a sudden see that? <laughs> Do I have extra abilities all of a sudden? Our Salvation Day. I mean, it's quite obvious movies and stories have gone by the wayside because nobody can see this coming. Really? We're this far into the future? <laughs> Those things are still around? <laughs> or are we in the future? I actually don't remember what... No, no, that said 2039. You still got these old phones? Wait a minute. Can I grab that ladder? Is there a secret area up there? Doesn't look like there's anything else. Oh my god, I can't thank you enough for letting me in. Not at all. Please come this way. Uh, do you mind if I ask your name? I, I can't believe I'm talking with a real person. Uh, Adams. Henry Adams. <laughs> I can assure you, we are real and we do exist, Mr. Adams. It looks like it's been a long journey. You must be starving. Yes, yes. Good. We have a delicious menu for today. But before that, we need you to take a look at this. Here's what we can give you and what we demand in return. We like to keep things organized here, so we sign contracts with anyone looking to join our community. Please, take some time before making your decision. Uh... 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 Uh-huh. Yes, I agree. Are you aware of what this line means? Yes. And you're still fine with it? Yes. Good, Mr. Adams. Then I'm very glad to welcome you to our village, Haustville. Please, make yourself at home. Oh, there's more house back here. Now, why can we see past events? Hmm. Raymond. I hate this name. Reminds me of my father. Okay. So are we going to find a shock and twist in the game where the doctor is the father? He's been the eating yes. people. Check the oven. See if the bread is cooked. Ouch! What happened, Lucas? Are you okay? Yeah, just burned my hand a bit. Oh, poor boy. I'm tired, Tom. Can I sit and play now? A little more work, Lucas. Kids, that's enough. You don't need to worry about me. No, Ma. It's time for you to rest. Oh, my sweet boys taking care of their mama. I don't want to leave you. Lord, show me the way. Right. Save me. 
having fun, Lucas. <laughs> Die! Um, would you come to the kitchen and help me cook while Mom sleeps? Why do I need to Probably cook end up Mom? cooking Mom. I, know how to cook. I told you, Mom doesn't have much time left. She's almost 57. We need to help her out to make her happy, remember? Is Mom sad now? I guess she is. The only thing we can do is help her to make her feel better. I'll come to the kitchen, Tom. Thanks, Lucas. She have a gun <laughs> in a river of blood. <laughs> like yay, nothing on the back. And those people are sad. Whoa, I'm a vampire. Zero reflection. Maybe that's where I'm getting all my abilities from. go through the rest of uh, should I do one more okay I'll do one more house and then yeah, I've already been to that house and then I'll call it there after this house and we'll have to pick up like a part two or something check still a vampire well we'll have to call that the vampire check see if I ever become not a vampire that old vacuum I'm having trouble understanding this timeline <laughs> Linda, listen! It's Blake. Honey, why are you crying? Linda. Our sweet baby. Do you think she's ever going to be happy living here? I know that she's going to be happy as long as we're together. That's all that matters. We have 19 years left, Blake. Barely! What will happen to her after our Salvation Day? I don't want to raise her here. She will be old enough to take care of herself. And we need to make our sacrifice when the day comes, so she can live a comfortable life here. Look, even if we hadn't signed any contract, we can't leave this place. It's dangerous Weird. out there, He turned Linda. into, like, red so sparkles there. We don't have any choice. I think they had been it. blue before. She's never going to be free, you know. Oh, this one's also red now. I would rather see her alive. So we're going to conclude that for part one. Part two, we'll make our way up to 
this giant thing and see how it unfolds. But thank you for being with me. I will see you guys again in the next one. Have a good day.